What is up guys, my name is David Lee and I'm Asian with Hat and this is the Element X300 flashlight review sponsored by airsoftpeak.com. First thing we're going to talk about is the batteries. Over here, it takes two CR123A batteries. And with that, these are rechargeables. So I don't have a problem with using rechargeables on my flashlights. All my flashlights that I've used in the past are all Element. So I've had no problems at all with using rechargeables on these. You have a toggle switch over here on the right and left, and they all both do the same. So you can either tip it down, get a certain pressure and it turns on, and then you can lock it, and it'll stay fixed on. So if you want it momentary, you just have it slightly turned before fixing it, and then you fix it, and it'll click in, and you'll feel for the click. For the lumens, you get about 200 lumens, which is pretty decent for what you need. On my rifle, I have the ultra version, which will be about 500 lumens. So that's kind of overdone, but considering the fact that I used to walk in very dark places, I'd rather have that for just distances. So with this, considering the fact that I have this on a pistol, I don't have a problem with that just because I'm going for close, uh, close shots. So this can also take different attachments. So there's two different uh, rail attachments that you can do. The one that's on here for saying so, my SIG PG26 made by Tokyo Marui, and it works pretty well. There's a little bit of play, but I think that just has to do with airsoft spec. So that's no problem at all, just because it's still fixed on there, it's not moving at all. And then I have another plate that I can swap, and I'll just unscrew these three on the top and then these three on, on the bottom screws and then swap the plate on here and then put on a different plate and it'll fit on different types of pistols and I'll swap this plate for saying so my MMP9 made by Tokyo Marui and the reason why I'd rather take that plate over this is just because uh, it doesn't actually fit on here on the Tokyo Marui so I have to use the other plate to fit it on there and that just has to do with saying so the trigger guard of the gun. Uh, the profile could be a lot more further and then the other one could be recessed. So that's just why they have two different plates. Alright so for the trades over here we have the X300 trade and then your Surefire trades which is also on the top. You only get this on the Element brand not the uh, Night Evolution one. So if you get the Element one it will come with the trades for the Night Evolution it will say NE. So make sure if you want the trades you get from Element. Alright so to talk about the front lens uh, when it comes to Element and their flashlights, with all the flashlights I've used in the past, which were all Element, I've had no problems at all. All my flashlights have taken a lot of shots from BBs while playing Airsoft. Had no problems at all. So they're pretty shatterproof. So the only way these will shatter is if you took, like, saying so, a, a really hard uh, shot, saying so, maybe a 4 0, 4 3 at 550 and probably leave a dent or crack it. Um, but honestly, you know, in CPC situations where I've had a situation from 10 feet away where GoPros won't even take the shot, these can. Uh, so I don't really see a problem with using B, uh, these for airsoft. Of course, when it comes to their stuff, the lens is actually different from Surefire's because Surefire's are using a straight up glass. And versus over here, you have a dip, uh, which I guess is to uh, go to concave with the uh, with the bulb. So when using with the uh, pistol, uh, like I said, the only the best way to use it, of course, is to press down with your thumb. So when I press down, I can turn it on, and I usually don't ever have it fixed on. So I'd rather just have it momentary. So that way if I get into a fight, I can just flip it on and the minute they try and shoot me, I can turn it off and just start shooting at them. Overall, this is a really great light. For $66, I think this is worth buying, especially if you're going to be going into doing a lot of dark rooms or uh, uh, dim areas or dark hallways. I think this is a worthwhile investment to have uh, versus trying to buy, say so, a flashlight and trying to do the uh, Modern Warfare 2 type of setup. No one really does that anymore. Uh, I personally think it would be better just to have this instead of just doing the one hand setup. 
That way you have a lot more stability with holding the gun and then you just have it right there already. For the rating that I give it, it is 10 out of 10 and the reason for that is just because of what it can do. Um, I have no problem using it. I can get used to it very quickly on the first initial use. And for when I need it, and I need it the most, it still works. And I haven't had a really bad situation while skirmishing the flashlight. Alrighty guys, this is David Lee from Asian with Hat. Thank you guys at Airsoft Pete for letting me review the flashlight. Be sure to check them out on their website. Links will be in the description down below. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.